What we're looking at right here, my friends, I was cleaning out a uh, desk drawer earlier today, and this doesn't even scratch the surface. I've got probably three times as many of these gun locks as you see right here in total. Uh, a Ruger Glock. I don't know, we got what we got here. This come from a, a Mossberg. Yeah. I probably got a hundred or more of these things. Huh. Uh, nobody can say, you know, Mark doesn't have a padlock. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, I'm Mark. You're watching the Garage Guy 879 channel. This is Sunday night, uh, February 7th, 2021. I want to show you all something I picked up about a couple of weeks ago. This was used. It's only one owner. Uh, this is a Taurus Model 94 revolver, chambered in 22 long rifle. Uh, it has the uh, nine-round cylinder right here. And I got it at a local gun shop in my hometown of Chilhowee, Virginia, Scotty's Guns. Anyway, uh, I'd been in and out of there, you know, at least maybe once every couple of weeks or something like that. And this right here has been in the display case now for seven, eight months. And uh, when I first saw it, Scotty had a price tag of $400 on it. And... You know, it's his business. He can charge what he wants for them. And I thought that was too high. Then uh, finally here a couple of weeks ago, I decided, what the heck. I asked Scotty to let me take a look at it. And this thing is in some sweet shape. I mean, it's in like new condition. This was made back around, I think, 2011. And uh, it has that classic blued finish. Not that matte blued finish like they got now. Uh, this here is my Smith & Wesson Model 31-1 chamber from 32 Smith & Wesson Long. See the finish on it? See the finish on the Taurus? Classic. That's what I really liked about it. Well, Scotty finally come way down on his price after I talked to him and uh, I decided to go ahead and get it. Now, like I said, this uh, was been a one owner firearm and it was a gentleman from Germany who owned this and he moved over here and he worked for a defense company in the uh, in a neighboring community and he bought this originally brand new and he just wanted something to target shoot with you know something he and his son could enjoy and so he picked this up and after about a year decided to move up to a 38 special caliber and this has mostly been locked away since then and from what what they told me it's got less than 500 rounds through it and you can look at it and see the condition it's in it's it's pretty nice shape for its age uh, nine well ten year old revolver I'd say now and it's nice, and what I like about it, it's got the uh, full-length grip on it for a 22 right there. I like it. Full-length factory grip. Now, I got this, you know, uh, I've made some videos earlier about this right here. My granddaughter's Charter Arms Pathfinder Ultralight, and this is chambered in 22 Magnum. And I've been looking all over for another one of these that isn't pink, that isn't my granddaughter's, uh, because I can take it with me. I'll carry it in this holster right here. Anyhow, uh, this is 22 Magnum shot shell, uh, 52 grain pest control. If I'm out on a property or something and a varmint or whatever happens to come around or a snake, then I can, you know, I would use it in this. Well, I haven't been able to find a 22 Magnum Snubnose revolver anywhere in my area, new or used. 
I like the 22 Magnum round a little bit better. You know, it's got a little more punch in 22 LR, but when I ran across this, you know, I finally looked at it after it had been in that display case all those months. Saw it was a nine shot capacity right there. I decided, what the heck. Now the trigger and hammer action is going to be a little bit heavier on a rimfire revolver, you know. That's just the nature of the ammo. And I don't like dry firing any, but right there, single action. Okay, decent, double action. That's a pretty heavy pull. Can't really stage this trigger like I can a Ruger. You have a uh, adjustable back sight here. There's a sight picture. You got the red insert on the ramp front sight. And like I said, this blued finish is really nice. Uh, I, but it does have the internal lock right there. I got the key that come with it. Uh, I'm going to, well, as a matter of fact, I haven't been able to find any 22 LR uh, shot shells. So I was looking online earlier and budsgunshop.com had them and I uh, ordered two packs of them for this right here. The only thing I'm going to use this for is just, you know, shooting some pot cans or uh, varmint control while I'm out on a property. Now, if I do run across uh, the 22 Magnum version of this, I'm going to go ahead and get it. But this here, no, it won't be for self-defense. It'll, it'll be, like I said, a plinker or pest control. And... Uh, it's just nice. I like these little rimfire revolvers. This one's a nice looking one. Now the problem I saw with this model originally when I researched it on YouTube, didn't like what I saw. It had a uh, hammer transfer bar down in here and there were a few videos where the uh, transfer bar had broke. And that was just after maybe the first few shots through it. Brand new. This one here, like I said, has less than 500 rounds put through it. No problems with it. And uh, I have fired nine shots through it the other day. And did fine for what it is. It's pretty accurate. I nailed a two liter bottle several times in a few pot cans. And, uh, you know, this is going to come in handy. But let me tell you what, this thing has some weight to it. I don't have a skill or anything. Another reason I have this 31-1 out, I believe the Taurus is heavier than the Smith here. Don't know the exact weights on each one, but this one feels a little bit heavier. It, it seems to be solidly made. Like I said, full-sized uh, rubber grip on it from the factory. Ramped uh, front sight with the red insert. It's got a pretty good target acquisition picture. Trigger and hammer action is a little heavy, but you know, you got to expect that on a rimfire revolver. Plunger seems to work all right. And when I fired this, had no problems whatsoever. Well, listen, uh... I guess I'm going to get on off here, but uh, yeah, this thing's well built. Steel frame and uh, rimfire revolvers are much more reliable than rimfire semi-autos. Speaking of Taurus, if I had a choice between this and the TX-22, I'd choose this all day long. Alright, this feels like a real gun. Well, I'm going to get on off here. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Y'all have a good one.